this third degree burn on the 60, uh, 64 third degree burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos searing Lord, Lord of Flames. Keep fighting the chaos that lives inside me Trying to hold down the beast But it's hard to do that Because everybody angers me And triggers it I live in this world This uh, Kansas City uh, City This is uh, my arsons of Your king of the night It's about to be ex-Turk Hey, we're getting ready for the weekend And I've been playing more Final Fantasy 7 you know, on the way with the Chocobo quest, getting the gold Chocobo quest. And I was thinking, I'm playing Final Fantasy VII again and, you know, building my Final Fantasy VII uh, Vincent Valentine deck. You, uh, th could the game even go as further to s explain even some of the backstory of Dirge of Cerberus to the original? Mainly what I'm talking about is... Mainly what I'm talking about is... Is Hojo responsible for Final Fantasy 7? Well, obviously Square Enix is responsible for creating Final Fantasy 7. So we're going to be looking into the story of Final Fantasy 7 and not the creative point. So all the events that happened in Final Fantasy 7 were also the fact were also a factor of the most hated character, one of the most hated characters in the in the franchise, as well as the true villain of Final Fantasy 7. Professor Hojo, father of Sephiroth, and abusive husband of Lucretia Crescent. Yeah, you did not hear that wrong. But anyways, let's get started. To start off things with Final Fantasy VII, we would have to go back to when Vincent Valentine was a Turk when he was part of the Shinra, when he was part of the Shinra organization as a Turk. You know, so we'd have to go all the way back there. So that would be the earliest years. I even have the Dirge of Cerberus timeline map that comes in a strategy guide. And it says it's one of the first events after Genova's discovery. You know, Vincent tries to shut down. Vincent Valentine tries to shut down the experiment to create Sephiroth within Lucretia Crescent. You know, try to get it shut down. It fails. Vincent gets shot in the head. Vincent gets experimented on by Professor Hojo, but it ends up being a failure. Lucretia Crescent picks up after Hojo's experiment and complete a, 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 and ends up completing and ends up completing ends up completing uh, what Hojo has started. You know, has end up completing what Hojo has started. Vincent Valentine is now alive with his partial immortality thanks to the chaos in him. Sleeps in a coffin for the next decade. Well, yeah, not decade. Yeah, 30, no, never mind, 30 years. The events of Crisis Core happens in between that. In between the 30 years, I'm going to get at least estimate Vincent Valentine's at least in his casket. In the twenty, and like in the twenty fifth of the of the thirty years, so you know, Zach breaks Cloud out after the fight with Sephiroth after the Nibelheim incident. But even to go even further, even to go further behind that, when Sephiroth was born, conceived, Sephiroth was raised in a laboratory, and his whole purpose was to become the ultimate hero that, Shin, that Shinra wanted. So, Sephiroth's childhood was taken away from him, as well as any links to his actual real mother, and was told an alien figure, Genova, was his real mother. Even though Genova, even though it was only the Genova cells that made Sephiroth what he is, and only the cells, he was denied to know who his real mother is. So that's gonna really go play. That's gonna play some way in the background of Sephiroth's story. Now Sephiroth does not know Hojo's his father, but Hojo has kind of raised Vincent behind the sea. I mean, no, not Vincent. Sorry, Sephiroth. Yeah, sorry, I can't speak today. But Hojo has raised Sephiroth behind the scenes. 
And then this is, and, and then that will happen, that will get all the way up to Crisis Core. Nibelheim Incident, Cloud defeats Sephiroth. And then what happens is, Hojo knows that it was Cloud that defeated Sephiroth, so he gets the transplants to become another Sephiroth. Thus, Cloud becomes the second Sephiroth. But, Cloud does not turn evil or go insane. Except with revenge, which is understandable. You know, knowing in Final Fantasy, then because the events of Final Fantasy VII happens, Air, you know, Ares is forced to uh, forced to breed with Red Thirteen because of Professor Hojo. So this is uh, this would be right after Cloud joins Avalanche and they go save Ares, and then they discover Genova, the connection, you know, connection, Professor Hojo's science, and then after that. They go pick up the, they go pick up Vincent Valentine at Nibelheim Manor looking for Sephiroth. So and because Vincent's goals are to find Se find uh, Hojo and to get him for the crimes he did against him and Lucretia, this is where Vincent comes into play and joins Avalanche to find Hojo to find Hojo, and then after. After that, the rest of Final Fantasy VII happens. The, you get close to the end of Disc 2. And in Disc 2, the final boss is Professor Hojo. Because he gives energy for to Sephiroth to have the meteor. As Hojo got a backup plan to put himself in the Nero data network. Which will come a little bit later. And then after that, Sephiroth is defeated. Vincent Yuffie evacuates the civilians. Meteor hits Midgar. Avid Children happens, and then here's the final chapter of Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus. And we're going to count the compilation in this, because, because this is very relevant to what Hojo has been doing. So, what happens with that is... What happens with that, Dirge of Cerberus happens, you know, Hojo has used the Data Neural Network... To transmute his mind into the Emperor of Deep Ground. Weiss the Accumulate. You know. One of other Professor Grimmar's experiments. Or should I say. Vincent's stepbrother. Because Professor Grimmar. At one point. Vincent's father was in it on, on this with Hojo. So Hojo knew in that. And Hojo needed a host for Omega. Thus. The events of Deep Ground happen the way they are. Vincent meets Weiss. But then when Weiss talks about a familiar thing that Hojo would only know. The reunion and looking for Sephiroth. Vincent knew that Hojo was taking over Weiss. Hojo this time gets killed for good. Because Nero possesses Weiss. And uses his dark energy to corrupt Weiss's body. Thus... A, a race in the remainder of Professor Hojo. But nonetheless, in some way, as much as we hate Professor Hojo, you got to admit Professor Hojo has actually created the Final Fantasy VII compilation. Created the original Final Fantasy VII. And possibly, even no matter how they play it, created the remake. Because... Hojo is the father, biological father of Sephiroth, abusive hus uh, husband to Lucretia Crescent after she turned down Vincent, kills Vincent and resurrect him as Chaos, kills, gets Zack killed, thus causing Cloud to join Avalanche. And then even before that, made Cloud into another Sephiroth clone. So thus, Sephiroth and Cloud are connected forever thanks to Professor Hojo. It's this man. The man in the lab coat. You may think you may laugh at him because he's just a regular ass dude in a lab coat. But a regular ass man who inject Genova cells in him is actually the reason why Final Fantasy 7 exists. So Final Fantasy 7 exists because of everything Hojo has done. Now partially it could be by Genesis, but remember, Professor Hollander worked on Genesis and Angeal. And Professor Hollander 
being the rival that lost his spot to Professor Hojo, thus trying to over succeed Hojo. So again, Hojo's responsible for that as well. So pretty much as much as we hate Hojo, you gotta admit he created the Final Fantasy VII storyline. That's why I think that's the case. So may the crystal be with you. Like and subscribe. Follow my stream. Do all that good stuff. And I'll be able to come up with new videos.